Hello, my name is Lorna and I am Twin Love Concierge's Dallas Associate. I'm a registered nurse and internationally board certified lactation consultant. I'm coming at you guys today for our Twin Tuesday question of the week. So this mother asks, I just can't get comfortable feeding both babies at once. Anything I can try to make tandem feeding work? So that's our question. So you guys, tandem feeding is awkward, right? Let's face it, we don't just... Um, all feel super comfortable doing that and that's okay some people might and you know the vast majority might not so I just want to take a step back since we have people listening at all different points of their their journey here and so for anyone expecting I tell my expecting moms that if you try to tandem feed right away and it just feels awkward then work with the babies one at a time so wait to tandem feed until one of the babies can latch on um, easy, more, you know, it's more effortless. And then at that point when that one doesn't need a lot of work, then it's a good time to start to try to tandem feed. Um, so first step, make sure you have a, a, lots of room, okay? Lots of space to spread out. That could be your bed. That could be a large section of your couch. Now, once you have lots of room to spread out, then pillows. Let those pillows help you. And so if you don't already have a good breastfeeding pillow, I recommend, you know, getting one. So my breast friend, the twin pillow or twin Z, either way, just, um, there is something to having that breastfeeding pillow and having that support for the baby so that you're not starting to get tired and struggling to keep, to hold uh, the weight of your babies. So get that breastfeeding pillow ready and then bring in extra pillows. If you need one for your back, if you need to get your feet up, whatever you need to make things more comfortable, let those pillows work for you. Once you have that all um, ready, then you're going to latch on the baby that needs less help. So the one that can do things a little bit more easy, easier, um, you would latch that baby on first. And then the one that needs a bit more work, you're going to latch that baby on second. Okay. So early on, it might be you have somebody there helping you and you get all situated and then they hand you one baby, you latch that one and then they hand you the next baby and you latch that one. Then you're going to work towards, you know, being able to do that independently. And obviously we want babies tandem feeding and that's the goal, but again, it's okay to do them individually until um, it's less of a struggle, okay? So what, what position are we gonna do? Well, I highly recommend the football position. And the reason is, is that early on, babies, you know, it's not just this e easy thing and it's not like the movies um, oftentimes. So it's, it's a lot of work early on. So they're learning just like we're learning. And a lot of times you'll see moms struggle in the cradle hold and they're supporting their breasts and they're, they're trying to get that baby on and they're really struggling using their elbow there. So with a football hold, you're holding them ear to ear here, and then you clutch, have them clutched in. They're on their side like a football, right? So you can support your breast. Um, you can more swiftly and quickly bring them in when you see that big wide open mouth, and you can keep them tucked in and, and maintain that deep latch. You're less likely to miss it than when you're struggling this way in the cradle hold. So save the cradle hold till breastfeeding is just really well and established. Early on, use the football hold, okay? So you get that one latched on, and then that one would be resting on the pillow, latched on and nursing. You could come behind, support this breast, this one you're holding ear to ear, and then you latch that one on. Then you can come back and then they're both nursing in that football hold. So definitely work with the football hold and that's why you have more support and, and more control that way, okay? And you're not gonna miss those big wide open mouths and you're, you're gonna be able to keep them tucked on and keep that deep latch. Now if you're doing all of those things, and you're still struggling, then go ahead and bring in a lactation consultant. Find somebody in your area that can help you, that can come and assess the situation and see if there's something unique going on and that maybe that person then can provide tips and tricks for. But those are my um, first few tips for early on working on this and getting things good and going. And remember, it takes three to five weeks for breastfeeding to be good and established, okay? And even longer when our babies are preterm. So remember that and um, commend yourself for any amount of breast milk that you're giving the babies and keep up the great work moms.